Alex Fazet. I'm um, from basically our team called Zen Space. Um, unfortunately, my colleague uh, who worked with me um, with, with this app, um, he wasn't able to make it today. He's actually gone down with the flu. So, uh, yeah, so it's just me today. Uh, and uh, I haven't got any fancy slides for you guys, but what I'll do is demonstrate um, what we've come up with um, for the challenge for the record. Um, so the challenge was basically to come up with uh, a, a feedback type of solution to um, NASA interns and fellowship, fellowship um, program. So basically anyone doing the NASA internship or fellowship program can come into this website and enter feedback on what they think um, the program was, how, how it was, and um, what they felt about it. Um, so our solution, we uh, basically came up with uh, a scalable website that you can view um, on your phones um, as well as any, any sort of browser. Um, the basic style of the website is quite simple. So you've got um, a logging system where we utilize Facebook's logging system. Uh, the reason behind that is because quite a lot of people are on Facebook, so we decided to go with that um, as a starting point. Um, it just this gets the basic information of, of the person, so basically their name, um, what they study, and uh, what program they are. Um, from there on, you can come to this page here, which is it's basically called Summit Your Zen. Um, now, the idea behind this, the whole Zen space, is to create a community um, based platform where um, you know NASA interns can come in and feel like they belong to the community, uh, com community and um, basically talk about how they felt about the programs and interact with each other. Now, I'll just demonstrate to you what um, basically this does. Um, so we decided to go with the whole hashtag um, function. So what you can do is, how are you feeling? So you can type in sad, press enter, it'll create a little hashtag for you. Um, you can type in uh, uh, basically how the program was, so you can type in not, not great, and that will create a um, keyword for you. Um, and if you like, you can put in like a whole essay or uh, put in the comments about what um, high experience was basically with the internship. Um, so I'll just demonstrate to you this one. into um, a database that we created. Um, and the way to view the data, we came up with a solution where I click on View Zen, and this brings up this page here. Now, what we came up with is a visual representation of all the keywords that are coming up on the website. Um, so we came up with the, um, basically it's called a word cloud, so it shows up all the different keywords that are popping up. Um, these are randomized, so basically it has a pool of different keywords that come up and it's dependent on frequency as well. So if a lot of people are feeling sad, it will pop up with a lot of sad points. So as you can see now, it's saying hungry, so I think we put in a lot of hungry statements before. Um, <laughs> now we weren't able to sort of, the other functions of this particular um, part of the site is to create infographic style um, charts. So in the future, we, what we plan to develop is a place where you can um, click on different um, points in the data and create different um, visual representations of the data. So uh, one example is like a pie chart. So if you wanted to know how many people gave feedback on the particular website and, and based, based on gender or based on their location or anything like that, um, this is one of the things we, we, we thought would be great to see. Now, um, this we couldn't complete just because and all, of, all of that, we basically came up with this last night. So all of this was done pretty much last night, so um, bear with me. Uh, this is the other part of the website we, we were thinking about. So community, um, basically what we thought about doing here is to have a feed of live Twitter updates. So hashtag NASA um, internship or hashtag NASA fellowship. Um, interns can basically tweet anything and will come up on this page here. And you can comment on those particular um, tweets as well. So that's another option we came up with. Um, the, what we plan to do is to make this available in every sort of device. So um, at the moment, we came up 
with a solution where we can open it up in any sort of device and it should scale down to it. Um, so I'll just show you uh, the same thing on my phone, but it's scaled down version. So that's that's opened up in my phone at the moment. So if I click on login, it gets through. There we go. So you can flick down and enter the same thing on here as well. So by a car. Uh, how will you adjust this to capture more detailed or, or more specific feedback other than just the basic emotions? Uh, what we were thinking about was to um, sort of, first of all, trial it out with a um, uh, bunch of students in terms of if they're, if they're in a program and just, just basically give feedback on that to the program. Not not in a general sense. Um, but yeah, what we're trying to do is to um, bring all of the students together who are in that particular uh, program um, to give feedback on this website. So one of the things you didn't see here is um, what we try, tried to do was to um, create a page where it sort of asks you what program you're in and it'll bring you to a different part of the website and we can give feedback. How many people were in your group? Uh, me and one other guy. One other, okay. So the two of you. Alright. And in terms of I suppose um, how is it actually going to um, for, for your mobile technology mm -hmm. that you're going to do? Um, have you thought about any other extensions of capability apart from just some no, basic the, functions? No, the um, infographic uh, function that, that it's got on there is running uh, using d3.js is, is a JavaScript um, plugin. It's quite powerful. It can um, retrieve a lot of data and process it really quickly. Um, in terms of mobile, what we're trying to do is to make it streamlined and, and that's how you sort of came up on, on the screen there. Um, and what we're trying to do is make a sense of um, community where people can comment on different feedback they've given on the website. So if someone says, oh, this program was great, someone else can come in and comment on it and be like, yeah, I had the same experience, this was great. Um, and now that data can be pulled up um, by the, the administrators of the program and be able to see, oh, yeah, these, these okay. people find it good, these are the ones people didn't find it that great, so. And it says it's supposed to pick up the location, time and date, etc. Yeah, that's done in the back end, so Is it? Okay. Um, basically the server logs where they're from and um, when they submitted the data. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we, we tried to bring in where it shows the views in um, is different tool tips where you can press, okay, um, like different gender or different location or different time and date. Mm -hmm. um, those are the features we are thinking of implementing on there. Okay. Really quick question for me. You talked at the end about um, the community being able to pull in stuff that's coming from other social networks. Mm -hmm. I guess one of the things um, that I liked about this was the way you were able to look at the infographic of the data you were collecting. Yeah. What about in the future being able to look at an infographic or representation of the data you're getting out of <coughs> other social networks? Is that something no. on the roadmap? Or? What happens is, um, at the moment, um, all the uh, 
from, from, from the Summit Zen part of it. Um, the data that's collected is basically going go straight into the database. Yeah. Um, so it creates a table of um, different keywords. We're planning to do the same thing with, with the Twitter feed. So basically, have, um, um, the great thing about Twitter is that it, it, it sort of knows like the general context of the thing. So um, the plugin allows you to um, uh, say, for example, if the person is feeling sad or if the person is feeling happy. Um, so it knows the context of it. So that's one of the things we can plug into the database and then generate and program the graphics out of it. Right, cool. Okay, so we, we have to go to the next team. Thank you very much.